UFC junkies. How you guys doing today? Man Cave here, and yes, of course, that's cigarette smoke as usual. Um, I'm be doing quite a few things in this video today, so if it's all sporadic and all over the place, don't mind me. It's just my usual style. Really good mood today. Um, of course, you guys know I put additional lighting in and everything. Of course, I've got my flags. You guys know that. You know I've got my three lights. And you guys, by now, already know the big news. So, with that being said, the Man Cave is proud to hang a Venom banner. And, on top of that, you guys, um, last night, I don't know why, but I got a wild hair up my butt. You guys notice, this table's looking awful barren. All there is is just bodies and radios sitting on it. That is because last night I rewent through all my shelving here and reorganized everything. Up here, we have the Lizardlick SCX10, formerly known as the SCX RR10, and haha, <laughs> said it right again. This is the one with the uh, Timbuktu brushless uh, crawler system in it. I've reorganized all my tires. You guys know the G Made buggy. We've got Riddler over here. We've got the BC Bronco. We've got the Venom Creeper. That right there is the Tamiya CR01 Recovery Jeep slash Dodge. Down below there, that is a all original 1987 Tamiya Cloud Buster. Over here we have my HPI Sprint 2 Flux. Of course you guys know Copperhead. There's Two-Face with the uh, snot green clod body on it and the Silverado SCX-10. And of course, you guys know I had the, uh, the Gooseneck trailer. Well, the Gooseneck trailer is no more and I've actually turned it... I've got to do finishing work. I've got to grind on it. I've got to clean up those welds and repaint it. But I took the... Gooseneck stands off of it and turned it into a bumper pull hitch with an RC four-wheel drive pindle hitch and a King Kong tow shackle that the other end is bolted here to the back of the frame of the SCX Lizard Lick truck and it will pull Copperhead around. Um, that of course is a 100% all original uh, design by me. I built everything from that scratch up. Uh, let's see, an update on the uh, clod. I've got all the uh, chrome pieces that I have in. I've got the front bumper in, I've got the blower, the light buckets. You guys know I'm still waiting on the F350 body. I've got the tailgate, the light kit, the, the lens kit, the uh, detailed interior. The clod's got the chrome. As a matter of fact, here's the uh, brushless system out of the HPI. I'm going to be going through and doing a yard sale, just clearing out the stuff I don't use. And uh, since I'm switching over with me and my son, we're all going to be running Spectrum uh, DX3Cs. That way it's basically two of those radios is going to run up to 40 trucks. I'm going to be garage sailing my stock Axial 2.4 gigahertz radio and receiver. I've got another 2.4 gigahertz radio with a receiver. I've got my Traxxas Top Qualifier 2 channel with a receiver. That is all going in the yard sale bin. I think the dingo body is actually going to be going in the yard sale bin too. I've got a bunch of crap in those boxes that I have to go through and see what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Um, let's see what else is going on. The, the clod buster, I think I'm going to get rid of that because that thing is ready to go. I got that off of Craigslist trade. I've got the body for it and everything. That one's going to be going too. Basically, I'm just going to be cleaning house to make uh, room for the two new projects that I picked up on top of building the uh, the scale truck. I picked up two Tamiya TT01E kits. One is a uh, Scudo, Escudo, I believe, uh, Subaru Impreza. And the other one is a... Lamborghini Murcielago LP560. Both come with the LED light kits, an ESC, a motor, but it is a complete unassembled kit. 
So we're going to have a double build series on that too. But inside this box right here, I know you guys haven't seen all that much of the scale truck. As you can see here, I've switched over to the uh, 1.55 steely wheels with a set of IROCs on them. Much better. Um, I have ordered the red springs all the way around because after taking my shocks off, well, guess what? I've got articulation. Imagine that. But inside this box here, this came from Venom today, and there's also my steering servos that came in the mail, but... I'm going to be trying out Venom's Sport Charge for the nickel metal hydrates. On top of that, I've also got a set of steel center drive lines for the uh, Venom Crawler. Got a pair of those. And, as no surprise to you guys, I've got my all-time favorite battery in the world. The Venom 5000 milliamp nickel metal hydrate with the universal plug system on it. So, over to the battery uh, battery stockpile we go. Throw those Venoms up there, we're good. We're gonna take those drive line parts here and put them, <laughs> don't want them on the motors, so we're gonna set them right there. The sport charger, I'm really, really, Anticipating that because I wanted that a new charger for a while. I've had that Dynamite uh, Profit Plus charger for myself for at least two years. And there goes the lights because I'm trying to remove something here. Oh, bear with me, guys. Something always has to get in the way of filming so you can stare at the ass end of the scaler for right now. There we go, we got the power back. All right. I've really been wanting to try. Yeah, here comes the jumpy camera because I'm pulling the legs out on the tripod. Ah, dang it, I was at Walmart today and I didn't buy a new tripod. I wanted a better one. This is just a little standard six inch one. So you guys know the scaler. All right now I put a, uh, really really weak Futaba plastic gear servo in it just for right now to make sure everything worked I've driven this truck around on the ground it's got some speed to it but it also has the low end that you need awesome awesome motor I absolutely love my Integi Matrix Pro lathe motor perfect combination to get coupled into that RC four-wheel drive disruptor planetary uh, the charger I'm really, really looking forward to this one because it has on it, you have selectable switch, one, two, or four amps for your current charge. Now I, when I'm rapidly wanting to charge it, I'll run it on four, but usually I keep it on two. It's nice, comes with a standard, nice long cord with a, uh, whoa, a little close there, with a Tamiya standard connector on it, which is fine because that's what I've always been used to and most of my batteries have the Tamiya standard connector on it. But let's pull this sucker off and see how much length we've got on that. Oh yeah, we got easy. Good three foot on that. And then of course we have our uh, power input and your LED indicator light to let you know it's on. And then on top of that we have got, bam, some 208 ounce torque steering servos. High speed high torque metal gear servos and all three of them also come with the uh, the kits on them to uh, put the servo arm that you want for the horns they come with the screws got all three of those ready to go and as far as paint goes for the F-350 I know everybody's been wanting black but I decided for this one and then I'm gonna leave this part up to you guys as to how far I do it I have decided to go with Rust-Oleum Camouflage uh, Deep Forest Green. So right out of the gate, it's already a faded dark green that looks like it's been on the truck for a long time. And on top of that, I've got some Rust-Oleum Hammered Finish, which obviously, as you can see, if it starts out silvery and you spray that on, it looks like rust. So the cap indicates the color. That looks like rust to me, and especially with the textured finish on it. 
I think that's going to look really killer. Now, what I thought about doing was taking these T-Rex axles here and shooting the axles with this hammered finish. That way they look all rusted out just for some added uh, scale look to it. Make, add those in there and then on my drive shafts I figured I'd go ahead and paint the drive shafts with this uh, hammered finish too so it looks like it was all rusted out. And then on the frame in certain places I was going to I'm going to be stripping this truck all the way down to the bare frame again. Thought about painting some spots on the frame, like around the wheel arches and stuff, to make them look rusted too. The body, still not here, which is kind of uh, pushing my buttons on it, because it's been 10 days already and I still don't have it, but thought about taking various spots, like around the wheel arches on the truck, shooting them with some of this to give it that rusted look and then the rocker panels along the door give that like a little bit of a rusted look the original color my wife picked out was a glossy uh spring grass or safety green uh, i don't know i really like the flat look better because it looks like a clear coat has come off i can even actually spray some clear coat in places to make it look like the the clear coat is peeled off I know I told you guys I was going to keep it simple, but I think I might get a little complex on this one. Just, just for the fact to make it look scale. And oh yeah, guys, one more thing i got to show you too. Check it out. Venom Racing shirt. Love it. Alright guys, um, I'm going to hook up the charger, obviously, and see how that performs. I've got no worries with it. It looks to be a rock solid charger, and... Can't wait to start using it. I'm not getting rid of, I might get rid of my Dynamite Profit Plus, but I might keep it around for a secondary charger in case I need to charge two batteries at once. Um, as I said, there's going to be two TT01E builds going on. Um, a lot of stuff's going on still. The scaler's taking up a lot of time just basically because I'm waiting on parts. Everything else is pretty much done for it. I'm also, uh, bidding right now on some shooter shackles on eBay. I bought one set and the other set I'm bidding on. So I'll have shooter shackles on the ends of these to give me a little bit more flex and uh, articulation out of the truck. That way it doesn't pop up off the ground because the suspension is so stiff on it. But there you go guys, sorry I drug the video out so long. Um, you'll be seeing a lot more of the scaler which right now Still is not named. I'm honestly drawing a blank on this. So if you guys want to start uh, dropping some ideas on what I should call this beast. Go ahead. Feel free to uh, leave it in the comment section below. And uh, hopefully we can come up with a kick-ass name for this truck. Because it's got a bunch of badass parts on it. And I think it deserves a badass name. So, with that being said, I'm going to get my happy little butt to work while I'm still in a great mood. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There is a lot more to come. And uh, once again, thank you to all my subscribers for uh, all the positive comments.